good morning students and good morning parents welcome to edistor international school you are watching class 5 mathematics chapter number 7 fraction part 2 we have studied the last class about fraction types of fraction and conversion in that how to convert improper fraction into mixed fraction mixed fraction into improper fractions so we have studied about those things today we are going to study reduce to lowest term okay here one example is given for you reduce 112 divided by 92 to lowest term so first you have to take and write the number 112 divided by 92 okay see here ones place i mean if you want to convert the lowest term means you want to divide the values okay which number used to divide the numerator the same value used to divide the denominator also okay so 112 here 92 both are even number in ones place has to here in ones place has to okay so both values are even number so you can divide the value by 2 so write 112 divided by 2 by 92 divided by 2 so what you are using in the numerator the same value used in the denominator also okay you should not change any other value so both value should be same and now you tell 112 how many times are twos are there you have to divide the value separately otherwise you do directly first i am taking 11 in 11 how many times are twos are there five times five twos are 10 okay out of 11 10 went means remaining how much you have only one so that one you have to write in front of the two third digit before so the one i mean two become 12 in 12 how many times of twos are there six times so want to write six so totally 56 divided by in 92 how many times of twos are there in 9 how many times of the four Four two zero eight, so eight you separate from nine you will get one. That one you write two before, so the two become twelve. So how many times of twos are there in twelve? Six times. So forty six. Okay, in top fifty six, and bottom I mean numerator you want to write fifty six, and denominator you want to write forty six. So fifty six divided by forty six. then again you have to divide the values you want to divide the values up to get prime number okay prime number co co prime number so here 56 here 46 are there so in ones place you are having the same value 66 so both are even number so you can use to divide the value again by 2 so divided by 2 you write the same 2 you write in the denominator also now you divide how many times of twos are there in 56 so totally how many times 28 times are there in 46 how many twos are there no 23 times are there so equal to right 28 by 23 so 28 is the odd number that is even number as well as composite number and 23 is a prime number so we can't divide by any other number so you can stop up up to that then we want to convert this this is improper fraction because the numerator is a greater value and denominator is a smaller value means this is improper fractions so the improper fractions we are going to convert into mixed fraction suppose you are getting the answer is improper fraction means immediately convert into mixed fraction suppose you are getting the proper fraction means you can stop now we are going to convert into mixed fractions so 28 is the numerator that is the dividend we are going to use as a dividend and 23 is the numerator it is in numerator so we are going to use this value as a divisor so 23 right outside 28 right inside and how many times of 23 are there in 28 only one time 
right at the top and write 23 bottom and subtract the values you will get 5 remainder so one is the quotient and or is the uh, 5 is the remainder and 23 is the divisor so we are going to write the format what format q or by d format first we want to write the quotient as a whole number okay what you are getting that quotient is the whole number and remainder and divisors are fraction part so first we write q what is the value of q 1 and what is the value for or by d 5 by 23 so, so 1 is the whole number and or by d that is the fraction part 5 by 23 so write 1 5 by 23 this is the a mixer fraction then one more example is given for you 105 divided by 75 now you see here in both numbers are having in one's place 5 you can apply the divisibility rule here so both numbers in one's place 5 so are there so you can use to divide the value by 5 so 105 by 75 what you are going to use 5 we are going to use so 105 divided by 5 by 75 divided by 5 okay so what you are using in the numerator the same thing you are going to use in the denominator now you have to divide the values so 105 divided by 5 how many times are first i'm going to take 10 alone how many times are 5 are there 2 in 5 how many only 1 so 21 and in 75, how many times are 5s are there? 7 alone, take how many times are 5s are there? Only 1. 5, you have subtracted from 7, how much you have remaining? 2. So 2, you write before 5, so it becomes 25. In 25, how many times are 5s are there? 5 times. So totally, how many? 15. So 21 divided by 15. In 21 divided by 15, so 15 and 21, that value, which number used to divide the value? 21 is the odd number, 15 is the odd number, odd number as well as composite number. So both values, it coming in which table? 3 table. So that both values are divided by 3. Okay. So 21 divided by 15, that both values are coming in 3 table so use the number 3 to divide the values so 21 divided by 15 so i am going to bring the number down again so equal to 21 divided by 3 by 15 divided by 3 okay now you tell how many times of 3s are there in 21 7 times how many times of 3s are there in 15 5 times so equal to 7 by 5 so 7 is a what number? Prime number. 5 is a what number? Prime number. So both are prime numbers. So you can stop. So it is what fraction? This is also improper fraction. That improper fraction we can convert into mixed fraction. So you can divide the values. Finally you get how many times of 5 are there in 7? Only 1 time. So write 1. And you have to subtract the value 5 from 7. You will get remainder 2. You write at the top and write fractional board. Then denominator, same divisor you have to write. I mean denominator, what you have? The same value you have to write in the denominator. So 1, 2 by 5. So this is the lowest term. So 1, 2 by 5 is the lowest term of 105 by 75. Then we are going to study about arranging ascending order and descending order. Now you see here 2, 2 by 3, comma 2, 2 by 7, comma 2, 1 by 14, comma 2, 1 by 6. So we are having how many numbers? 4 numbers. So all the numbers are mixed number. So that mixed number, how we can find which is the smaller, which is the greater and all. So too difficult for us. So what we want to do here first first or already we know that the mixer fractions convert into improper fractions that we are going to apply first so write on the solution convert into improper fraction what fraction is given here 
mixed fraction that mixed fraction going to convert into improper fraction now you take 1 by 1 so 2 2 by 3 is given that first the denominator what is there 3 that 3 you multiply by the whole number okay 3 into 2 how much 6 that 6 you should add with the remainder 2 so 6 plus 2 8 so 8 by 3 next 2 2 by 7 so 7 into 2 how much 14 14 plus 2 16 so 16 divided by 7 the next one 14 into 2 so multiply these two values 14 into 2 how much 28 28 plus 1 29 so 29 what you have in the denominator 14 so 29 by 14 the next one multiply these two values 6 2 is 12 12 plus 1 13 so 13 by 6 so we converted into improper fractions what general we get 8 by 3 16 by 7 29 by 14 13 by 16 so we are going to use these four fractions okay now take and write all those fractions now you see all those fractions in the denominators are same or different here in denominator 3 7 14 6 so all the four numbers are different so it is comes under in what fraction unlike fraction okay this unlike fractions we want to convert into like fraction like fraction means yes all the denominators should be same so we are going to convert the denominators to same number so what we want to do first we want to find lcm okay whenever you are going to convert unlike fraction into like fraction means you must find lcm use the denominator so what until we are having 3 7 14 6 so we are going to use these four values to find lcm so write down that take and write 3 7 14 6 so 3 and 7 are an number 14 and 6 are even number so i am going to use first smallest prime number that is 2 i am going with that so write 2 outside so 3 and 7 are add add number that is add prime number so we can't divide the value by 2 so you have to write 3 and 7 as it is then in 14 how many times of 2's are there 7 times write 7 and 6 how many times of 2's are there 3 2 3's are 6 so you want to write 3 7 7 3 okay so now you see here 3 7 7 3 next 3 7 all and number so all number as well as the prime number also so next i am going to use 3 prime number to divide the value so write 3 outside how many times of 3 are there 3 1 then 7 we can't divide by 3 so write the same number again 7 7 then in 3 only one time write 1 so 1 7 7 1 now you tell 7 is the prime number so use the same prime number to divide the values so write 7 outside then you write 1 1 1 1 1 okay now what is the lcm lcm equal to you want to multiply these three values 2 into 3 into 7 so lcm equal to 2 into 3 into 7 so 2 3 is a how much 6 6 7 is a 42 so equal to 42 now we are going to convert all the denominator into 42 we want to convert okay all the denominators convert into 42 now how we can convert 42 i am going to explain now first we want to take and write 8 by 3 so 8 by 3 suppose what uh, you don't know uh, how which number you used to multiply you will get 42 okay so we need 42 in the denominator means use 3 to divide 42 you will get the quotient that quotient used to multiply the values okay so 3 14 is the 42 
सपोज इट इज़ अ स्मॉलेस्ट वैल्यू बट द गिवन द आंसर इज बिगेस्ट वैल्यू मीन्स यू हैव टू डिवाइड द वैल्यू फार्टी टू डिवाइड बाई थ्री सो इफ यू डिवाइड मीन्स वॉट यू गेट क्वाश एंड फोर्टीन दैट फोर्टीन यूज टू मल्टीप्लाई द न्यूमरेटर एज वेल एज द डिनोमिनेटर सो फर्स्ट ओके सो यू वॉन्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई थ्री इंटू फोर्टीन द सेम वेल यूज इन द न्यूमरेटर इंटू फोर्टीन ओके so don't change this value while multiplying so what what you are using in the denominator the same value you want to use in the numerator so if we want to convert only the denominator alone we are going to convert 42 so don't want to consider in the numerator okay only the denominator alone we want to convert into 42 so here 8 by 3 is given use 42 to divide the value by 3 then what question you are getting that question used to multiply in numerator as well as the denominator so 3 into 14 3 14 sir 42 and 8 14 sir how much now 112 so 112 divided by 42 the second number you have to take once again 16 okay by 7 is given that so what you multiply by 7 you will get 42 Seven six a forty two. So the same six used in the numerator also. So into six. So sixteen into six divided by seven into six. Seven two sir forty two and sixteen six sir how much no ninety six. So ninety six divided by forty two. The next number you have to write twenty nine by fourteen. So fourteen used to divide the value the forty two. What question you are getting three. So that three used to multiply the fourteen. So fourteen into three, the same three you have to use in the numerator also. Twenty nine into three, that is equal to eighteen seven divided by forty two. Okay. The next value thirteen by six. So what you are multiplying by six, you will get forty two no seven. Six seven is a forty two. Okay. The same seven used in the numerator. So thirteen into seven, how much no? Ninety one divided by forty two. Okay, now you see all the denominator. First value has a forty two. Second value also has forty two. Third value has a forty two, and last one also has forty two. Okay, now all the denominators are same now. Now you can arrange all the denominators are same means these are like fraction. Okay, now like fractions after complete. You take and write all those values. Ascending order, you are going to write ascending order. Ascending order means you arrange the numbers from small to big. Now you see here, all the fractions are like fractions. Okay, so you don't want to see the denominator. Now you see the numerator. Which number is the smallest one? First one, what is given? One hundred twelve. Next to ninety six. Next to eighty seven. Next to ninety one. Among the four values, which is the smallest one here, eighty seven is the smallest. So that we want to write eighty seven divided by forty two. And the next thing, remaining how much we are having three among those, which is the smallest one, ninety one by forty two. That we want to write next ninety six divided by forty two. Then one hundred twelve by forty two. So we arranged it. So Finally, you want to take and write eighty-seven five by forty-two. Now, what value it is? Value eighty-seven by forty-two, twenty-nine by fourteen. That we want to write. Okay. So take and write all those values. Okay. Now, now we are going to arrange the numbers. Already I told no. Yeah, as in your order. Eighty-seven by forty-two. Take and write. Now you tell eighty-seven by forty-two. That is what value? You no, know? twenty-nine by fourteen. That we want to write. Twenty-nine by fourteen less than ninety-one by forty-two. Where it is here? Which number? Thirteen by six. That we want to write. And the next less than ninety-four by forty-two means sixteen by seven. That we want to write less than. Then finally, which is the greatest value? One hundred forty-two. That is. Eight by three. So you want to write on like that. 
29 by 14 less than 13 by 6 less than 16 by 7 less than 8 by 3. This is ascending order. The same value you have to use to write descending order. 112, just you want to write the divorce form. 112 by 42, 94 divided by 42, 91 divided by 42, 87 divided by 42. Now see, all the denominators are same, so it is a like fraction. So you want to use only the numerator to arrange the value from big to small and small to big. So this is bigger than this, this is bigger than this, this is bigger than this, okay? So now you want to write, so 112 by 42 that is 8 by 3 greater than 16 by 7 greater than 13 by 6 greater than 29 by 14. So like that we want to write. And then we are going to study about addition and subtraction of fractions and their properties. Here property 1, the order of fractions can be changed in addition but it is not possible in subtractions. We can change in order in addition but not in subtractions. For example, 3 by 5 plus 2 by 5. This is the like fraction because the denominator both fractions have same. So the new just you add only the numerator. 3 plus 2 you get 5, 5 by 5. So now we are going to change the order. 3 plus 5 plus 2 by 5 is equal to 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5. Now you add these two numerator you will get the same value. So if we change the order in addition we can get the same answer. But in subtractions now we are going to subtract 3 by 5 minus 2 by 5. So if you subtract these two values this is a like fraction. Both fractions are having same denominator. So you just subtract the numerator alone. 3 minus 2 you get 1 by 5. Okay. But if you subtract 2 by 5 minus 3 by 5 means we can't subtract. We can't subtract one bigger value from smaller value. So this is not equal to 2 by 5 minus 3 by 5. Okay. The next thing, second property, if we subtract 0 from a fraction, the answer is the fraction itself. Example, 5 by 5 minus 0. So we are subtracting 0 from 5 by 5, 7. So we will get the same fraction, 5 by 7. Then property 3, if we add 0 to a fraction, the answer is the fraction itself. For example, 5 by 7 plus 0, you will get 5 by 7. Suppose the 0 plus 5 by 7 means you will get the same value 5 by 7. So if we add 0 to any fractions, the answer is the fraction itself. We will learn about how to add and subtract in fraction and write the classwork in the next class. Thank you children. Thank you parent. We will meet in the next class.